Traditionally, the way our stores have been laid out, it's more like a library, what you call a racetrack idea, where things are just done in grids and back and forth, and people sort of walk up and down the aisles and look for a book, and, and they uh, hopefully find something. And uh, what we've tried to do here is to really steer customers into new directions. We've incorporated things like serpentine tables, which are uh, a new concept, round tables, which sort of unheard of in the book industry. Everything is square, so people traditionally put square on square, sort of uh, uh, liken it to shopping for cereal boxes. You're not going to buy them from the spines. You're always going to look for the face. So I think as you go through the store, you'll see that we've really done uh, a tremendous amount of work of trying to get as many face outs in the store as possible. We don't want to overwhelm the customer with too many choices, so that's why we don't have you know, 10 or 15 digital cameras where you want them to. We're just highlighting things, products that we believe are a good, um, a good choice for our customers. Uh, the, the great thing is you even have the ability to download songs from our store to that. So yeah. we, not only can we help you with the product, we can actually show you how to download the songs or download the songs for you. I, I think you can definitely say the, the, the one gigahertz Gigabyte uh, clip has been very, very popular just because it's got the ability to download the songs to it. But I would say the picture frames have been uh, a very, very hot item. Think, think about this for somebody that travels, which I, I travel and most of us travel. How would you like to pack 160 books into your briefcase? And that's what you're able to do with this one device. Yeah, and you can, you can have them all on here. Um, with whatever books you want to put on there. Publish. Um, and basically, as Bill said, it's a way for aspiring authors to create and publish their own novels, their own books, whatever they want. Um, we have a few examples right here of books that actually were created with using the new publish system. Um, it's basically um, a genealogy oh, wow. service, um, is what Ancestry.com is. Um, and uh, starting on here, you can do several um, several things um, looking up your family name. And basically, Ancestry.com has access to various different kinds of records, census records and military records, birth and death records. With the Ancestry website, you can access all kinds of information about your family name, your ancestors, um, your neighbors, any kind of um, information. So let's go to Burn a CD. Right at the home screen, um, first of all, it offers you on the left-hand side featured categories. These are basically um, albums that are available to burn in all of those different categories. It also has some recommendations right on that main screen for you. Um, in the upper right-hand corner, we have shopping bag summary. As you add stuff to your shopping list, it will keep track of that for you. What is Mango? Well, we are in the Manga generation. We're in the throes of it right now. It is likened to comic books a lot, but it is very different in a lot of ways. Manga is another art form that has or originated in Japan, and it's simply told with text and sequential art. A uh, major difference being that it's read right to left instead of left to right. So if you pick up one of these books, for instance, it's going to start right there, and you have to read it that way. Hi, I'm Erin Johnson. I'm the general manager. Um, I've been with Borders about nine years. Um, been bouncing around Florida, a little bit of time in Michigan. Um, but I'm really excited to be back in Panama City and to be near the beach at a really great store. So I'm very excited that we're just about up there.